everyone this is Abu Ahmed Chaudhary today our topic is on class 7 book of Eric Sill and the chapter is chapter 1.01 the chapter name is system of units now comes the question what is the system of units basically the international system of units is a modern metric system this is the only system this is the only measurement with an office this is the only measurement system with an official status throughout the whole world before the SI units were adopted by the before the SI units were adopted by the whole world the same thing used to be measured in different ways for example this mark someone used to say this is this a scale is one hand long or someone another person used to say it is two hand long or a per, another person is to say a different thing so it was a mess so in 1960 scientists uh, and the whole world adopted a new thing and that thing is the this metric system the SA units were adopted in 1960 as the standard unit of measurement and there are three, mainly three types of measurement mass time and length now the SA units of mass is kilogram SA unit of time is second and SA unit of length is meter there these three quantities are independent of each other however you can put some however we or you can put some extra un, units before extra units to make the calculation bigger or smaller these units are called prefixes and now I would request you to write that prefixes of mega mega is 10 to the power 6 or 10 and 6 uh, 10 and 5 zeros which is absolutely 10 lakh kilo is in 2000 whenever you are tra yeah, transferring something from kilo to deci multiply by 1 by 10 or you can use this formula kilaya hakaya dakat malile deshe shanti milibe which my sir yeah, taught me when I was at your age so write down the prefixes mega is 10, 10, 10 lakh kilo is 1000 deci is 1 by 10 centi is 1 by 100 milli is 1 by 1000 and micro is 1 by 10 lakh the sign of micro is mu which is somewhere about like this this is the sign of micro this is the sign of micro let me write it for you guys In leg, yeah. Now kilo into thousand kilo. Then desi now. Desi, which is multiplied by one by ten. Now centi which is into 1 by 100 now milli I'm sorry for my handwriting milli which is into 1 by 1000 first write this all then I will it write the micro one I hope you guys have written now let me erase the mega one and the kilo one to give which will give me some space to write the micro one micro 
which is into 1 by 10 lakh. I'm giving the comma here just for you guys to understand. Here is actually no, com no comma should be given while writing this. Now let me write the symbols of these prefixes. Let me write it more clearly. Mega equals to capital letter M. Now kilo. Kilo, I think we all know for kilo, which is K. Kilogram, if it's kilogram, then kg. Or if it's kilometer, then it's km. I'm just writing a, just writing k, and you guys can put another symbol or another scale according to what you are asked for. If you are asked for kilogram, then you should write kg. If you are asked for kilometer, then you should write km. Here I'm just writing, you know, giving bracket and writing g for just you guys to understand. Now Desi, for Desi, I will just give a small D, Desi, if you ask for decimeter or decigram, it, it, it will depend on the question, what you, what you are asked and what you will do about that. Now comes to centi, centi is small c, again, it can be centimeter or centigram, it depends. Centi, then milli. Now for milli. Milli is uh, that's it's for milli. For millimeter, you can write mm. Or for milligram, you can write mg. It Again, it depends on the type of question you are asked. And now for the micro, let me erase the mega one and the kilo one. Now for micro. Micro is mu. This sign is not u or you cannot say this sign. Let me make the sign bigger for you. This sign you cannot call this U or a slant line U with a slant line. This sign is called mu. This sign is called mu. Mu. But write these things. I'm giving you some time. Then I will erase these things and I will give you some examples of what? Examples of these prefixes. I hope you have you guys have written and if you guys do not understand my lecture, just comment below what and where which part you have problem I will yeah, explain you again. I will after this video. I will do an explain again explanation video, re-explanation video on the specific topics on which you have a problem to in which you are facing problem to understand. Now let comes uh, let us talk about the three main things which we said three main measurements which are mass length and time what is mass the amount of matter some, which something occupies matter is the amount of yeah, mat, mass is the amount of matter of something let me write the definition you guys should learn these definitions as it will help you in your exams and your lifetime also no one is going to ask you directly about the what is the a, hey, what is hey was man was the definition of mass. 
in in your practical in your, in your practical life, no one is a, gonna ask, but you need it for your exams. If you're gonna if you need to score high in your exams, you need to know the definitions as these are the certain points which will always come. For example, what is mass? What is the SI unit of mass? What is length? What is the SI unit of length? Not this kind of questions, not the definition will come always, but the SI asking the asking of SI units will come. It's very common question that what is the SI unit of length or mass or something else? It doesn't matter, it will always come. In every in every physics exam, it will come that what is the um, measure, what is the SI unit of mass? What is the SI unit of length? These are the certain points you should know. And this will help you to make your score better. For example, I have written here the amount of matter occupied by something is known as the mass. I'm giving you some times. What is the SI unit? I'm writing here SI unit, which is equal to for mass, it's kilogram. You ca we cannot change it as it's fixed. It's fixed throughout the whole world. The whole world uses kg kilogram for mass. As if kilogram wasn't said, someone would use gram, someone will use kilogram, someone is use, use centigram, and then, yeah, someone is someone will use milligram. That would yeah, create a mess. Everyone will be confused. What what the hell he is saying? No one will understand that. Ah, yeah, they will understand, but it will. They have to calculate. Oh, it's kilogram. Oh, it's gram. Then I have to divide it by thousand. Oh, oh, it's kilo. It's kilogram. I have. I need to convert it to gram. I need to multiply by thousand. Oh, it's that. I need to multiply that. Oh, it's that. I have to divide by that. So that that would uh, that is very time consuming. So that's why everyone is everyone is using kilogram. We need to save time. We cannot waste time as time is very time is very you you useful thing now let me write the definition of length And the measurement, the length is the measurement or extent of something from an end to end. Just like from this end to this end, it's called the length. And from this length to this length, it is also from this end to this end, it's a length. And from this end to this end, it's also a length. But this length is called width and this is called yeah, this is we call length usually width and breadth usually uh, the measurement the measurement of 
extent of extent of something from one inch to another. Length, the measurement or extent of something from one end to another. This pen also has a length. Your, your height, it is also one kind of length. Everything has a le length of its own. Without, nothing has length. There is nothing in this, only one dimensional things doesn't have any length. But from two dimension to every dimension, Everything has a length. Even the micro even the microorganisms, the bacteria, the viruses, it has a it has a length of its own. Please write this thing. The measurement or extent of something from one end to another is known as length. The I'm repeating again the measurement or extent of something from one end to another is called length. Now the SA unit the SA unit SA unit of length is meter it I would say the same thing if someone use centimeters, if someone use millimeter, everyone needs to, if, if I say you, this is this millimeter and you only understand meter, then you have to take a standard measurement that's only you can take in meter. So if you should, you will convert now. Oh, it's millimeter. I have to convert it to meter. Or for example, you have a scale of, you have a meter ruler only. You don't have, there is no scale of a millimeter there. How would you understand? You have to first convert that. If 10, I have said you to take a 100 millimeter paper, 100 millimeter paper. Now you have to convert that 1 millimeter equals to that a atometer, then 100 millimeter equals to what, millimeter, what meter. You have to convert that. So that conversion will take time. It's time consuming and we do not want to waste that kind of time. That's unnecessary, totally unnecessary. Now let's come to the time. I am saying time consuming, time consuming, time consuming, time is necessary. We cannot waste time. What is time? The continued process of existence as affecting people and things. The continued process of existence as affecting people and things are no, is known as time. You cannot see time. Oh, we, we can say that, sir, we can see time. Or, by, yeah, we can, by we can see time that it's 4, 4.55 or 4 p.m. or 4 a.m. That's, we are just measuring time. We can measure time, but we cannot see time. Time, ha time has existence, but it has no physical body. So, so we cannot see that thing. But time exists. The continued progress of existence, the continued process of existence of which affecting people and other things. The continued the continued the continued process The 
continued process of existence the continued process of existence first let me write if you can see you can copy from here or I will repeat it I will dictate it later as affecting as affecting people and other things things the board is yeah, too short and I don't have any enough space it's just a beginning I will try my best to explain you guys verbally the continued let uh, guys please write, write down I am re repeating I am dictate, dictating the in definition the continued process of existence e x i s e x i s t a n c e existence as affecting people and other things is known as time the continued process of existence as affecting people and other things is known as time i am repeating one more time after that i will erase this thing the continued process of existence as affecting people and other things is known as time now comes the year of now comes the time of writing the SI unit of time. The SI unit of time seconds. S. The symbol of seconds is only a small letter S. Time is always measured in seconds. We, you will say that sir, bhai, we, will, we measure time in hours, in minutes. We measure that for our, our own easiness. We, as we think that measuring time in seconds is very time consuming. See, time has, time is also time consuming. We we measure time in many things by many ways, but the standard process is seconds. We measure time by minutes, hours, days, year, months, years. But after all, the main process of measuring time is seconds. Again, if you guys have any question, please do write, write in the comment box. I will try to make a video on by replying each and every comment. And please send me on which topic or which specific topic or which place you have problem. I will try to specific that. I will make a specific video on that thing also. Now, now let me let us solve some questions. I have bring out the book. Let us solve some questions. That the first question that is asked us that has asked us, what is the SI unit of mass? As I said, they will ask for the they will definitely ask for the SI units. The second question is the SI unit of length and the third question is SI unit of time. Let us solve individually. Answers. Answers of chapter 
sorry, 1.01. 1.01. 1.01. The first one will be the first answer is kilogram. It's a unit asked to kg like a river. Just write kg. It's a unit of length. Just write m meter. It's a unit of time. Just write s. Now let's come to the question number four. What the what do you the follow what do the following stands for kilo milli micro what does the following stands for for kilo you will write for kilo into thousand for milli equals to into one by one thousand for micro you will write into one by one in lakh so let me write first kilo equals to into thousand milli milli which is equals to into one by one thousand One by one thousand, and for micro, micro which is equals to into one by ten lakh. Let me write the zeros clearly. Yeah, just write this thing. I'm repeating the answers. The answer of number one is kg. Just write k and g. You don't need to write the kilogram. What is the SA unit of length? Just write me m. What is the SA unit of time? S seconds. Oh wait a minute. They have asked for the SI units. My mistake. That just write kilogram, kilogram, meter, and seconds. I have written here in short form. Yeah, you just write kilogram, meter, and seconds. My mistakes. They have asked for the SI units of the mass. SI units of the mass. SI units of the mass, which is clearly kilogram. All right, kilogram. That that will be okay. The question number four asked that what does kilo, milli, and micro stands for? So kilo stands for into thousand. My milli stands for into one by one thousand. Micro stands for one by ten lakh. Or one by one crore, you can say that. Now. Question is that what is greater, sixteen hundred gram or one point five kg? Ah, uh, it's a very easy question. Either you have to first let's convert uh, kilogram into gram. As we know, one kilogram equals to thousand gram. One kg equals to thousand gram, so that one point five kilogram equals to one point five into thousand gram. So one point five into thousand. So the zero will be the point will be go one two. It should be one fifty gram. Sorry, it should be fifteen hundred gram, not one fifty. 
1500 gram 1500 gram 1500 1500 1500 gram so according to the conversation we can see that if 1 kilo equals to 1000 gram 1 1.5 kilogram equals to 1.5 into 1000 gram which is equals to 1500 gram so now it's basic math that 1500 gram is greater or 1600 gram is better obviously 1600 gram is more than 1500 gram so 1600 kilo 1600 gram is more 1600 gram is more than 1.5 kilogram One point five kilogram. It's five A. It's question number five A. Question number five A. Sixteen hundred kilogram. You just write sixteen hundred kilogram. You don't need to write the whole thing that sixteen hundred kilogram is more than fifteen hundred one point fifteen hundred gram or one point five gram. Uh, now it's saying that 1250 millimeter or 1.3 meter. Sorry, my car, there is no electricity. That's why there was a power off. Now comes that the one, 1250 millimeter or 1.3 meter. You can use, I often use, I often use the formula that I said at the beginning kilaya hakaya dakat marile deshe shanti milibe to deshe kilaya haka dakat mar kilaya hakaya let's write the formula kilaya hakaya kilo hectar kilaya hakaya Dakar, which is Dekar, Marile, which is meter, Marile, Deshe, which is Desi, Desi, Deshe Shanti, which is Senti, Milibe, which is Mili. So, here, instead of meter, we will uh, hold gram, or we will imagine gram. Sorry, here meter is asked. So me, we will hold meter in. No problem. So from meter to millimeter, we we just need to multiply by ten. As we go down, we need to multiply by ten each time. So one meter equals to ten decimeter. One meter equals to hundred centimeter. Equals to thousand millimeter. One meter equals to thousand millimeter. So according to our formula, we have found that 1 meter equals to 1000 millimeter. 1 meter equals to 1000 millimeter. 1000 millimeter. So we are converting 1.3 meter into millimeter to check that whether 1250 millimeter is greater or this thing is greater. 1.3 meter into 1.3 into 1000 which should be 1300 1.3 into 1000 yes 1300 millimeter so of course 1300 millimeter is greater than 1250 millimeter and this is the answer of 5b i actually cannot say that you have to show the calculations or not but i don't think you have to show the calculations here as there is nothing said they just gave two options you you can directly write that 1300 millimeter as they didn't ask you why or prove it or didn't say that show your workings 
That's the answer of 5 b. Question number 5 b. The answer is 1.3 meter. You, I just showed the uh, for, I just showed the working to make you understand that why 1.3 meter is greater than 1250 uh, millimeter. I know we you guys are intelligent, but still. Now let me bring my scale. Now I have bring my scale. Now let's look to the question number six. Let's look question to question number six. For that we have to draw a box. Uh, let's I'm erasing the thing answers of chapter 1.01. .01. Let's draw a box at first. You, I'm drawing here, you guys draw there and after drawing let's do the calculation now guys that here I have drawn the box I hope that you guys have also drawn the box here it's written unit and here it's written symbol here it's written length L E N G. I'm just writing L E N. okay I'm writing the full thing no problem then there is a question mark I'm not giving the question mark I'm just the things that are written in the book in the question I'm writing that are given I'm writing with the red marker time here is given kilogram here is given question mark and the first box here is given meter m now the blank boxes except this one here are question marks now they are yeah, asking us to solve the solve the thing they are asking us to write what the what things are missing we have to write the thing for, just like for the, what is the unit of length is of course meter m e t e r meter what's the Prefix of kilogram, it's of course mass as we learned that the SA unit of mass is kilogram. Of course the symbol is kg. The SA unit of time is second. And the symbol is a small s. I'm repeating the answers. The first blank box of, yeah, on the right hand side of length is, will be meter, M E T E R or M E T R E. Both are correct. One is British and one is American. Both are correct. And the prefix of on the left hand on the right, left hand side of kilogram written is will be mass as we learned that the SA unit of mass is kilogram and now the symbol is of course small letter kg k and g the here the prefix time is given we are asked to write the SA unit and the symbol the SA unit of time will be seconds s e c o n d s seconds and the symbol will be a small letter s Let's, yeah, this is the answer of question number six. So, class, uh, let's end here today and we will solve the next three, four questions. Next four questions, seven, eight, nine, ten. The next four questions on the next class. And please comment that which, on which part you have not understand, you have problem or you want to understand again. I will read each and every comment and I will try to solve each and every problem on the next video. Thank you and assalamu alaikum everyone.